Kill that urge to be chosen. Choose yourself. Dinner 
and then we're chilling for the day and we'll get ready for tomorrow um i stayed up until what time did i go to bed i stayed up until like 3 a.m last night doing homework y'all i ordered pizza <laughs> i had some snacks going and i was getting it in because i'm tired of like letting myself off the hook and not getting like holding myself to a standard when it comes to doing um my homework or just grad school in general it's like girl stop playing around i should have brushed up before i did that but yeah it's like stop playing around like handle your business and if you know you have a weekend where you have a lot of stuff going on handle your business first um and so it was by any by any means necessary the business was handled um <clears throat> and i just have one more assignment but that's not due to wednesday and it's saturday so i can do that tomorrow or monday um just so i'm not like super stressed and overwhelmed but I'm pretty much done getting ready. I'm just wearing this white bodysuit with um, some gray sweatpants and um, this cute white aloe hair pan. I'm y'all. I've been in aloe a little much. It's like once I start liking a thing. Excuse me. It be giving. It's like I can't get enough of it for a while. Oop! I might have to change this shirt. It's giving the headbands wider than the bodysuits. Oop! But yeah. So I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, let me show y'all what I got last night. I'm not bad because this. Uh, uh, is that how I'm supposed to look? I don't know. I don't feel like I feel like my left one don't look like this, and I don't want to cover my ears. Like, let me see what we doing. Let me see. Maybe does that look right? Is this one dumb? Is that okay? Push your neck a little bit. Um, I'll show y'all what I got last night. So, I went to Aloe, I got this headband, and I got this booty bag that I'm gonna try. Um, it has a bunch of minis. So, the Super Fruit, Super Fruit Moisturizing Lotion. I might keep that in my purse. The Mega C body wash it has magnesium spray. I put this on last night. That was good. I woke up feeling like just like light and rejuvenated. A uh, facial cleanser, an uh, enzyme facial cleanser, and. Some glow oil and a facial moisturizer. I really like that aloe gives. I also got some um, collagen and vitamin C shots, like the little liquid vitamins. I like that aloe. It's like a wellness store, like a wellness brand. I wouldn't even consider it a clothing brand, but more so wellness. I'm not sure if they promote that, but yeah. Um, from Target, I got the Glow Getter. It took me a while, but I got it. Um, mainly because I just wasn't really interested in it. And like at first I was interested in it, then I saw that a lot of stores 
around me and my area didn't have it. So I was like, eh, whatever, like it's not that big of a deal to order it online. Then I saw it last night and I saw that they have both. Usually they have one or the other, like they'll have the body wash and not the body butter or vice versa, but they have both. So I grabbed that from Target. I also got this skincare headband from Target. And I went to Sephora, I got my birthday gift. I wanna see what this um, Hydrate and Glow Mask is talking about. But from Sephora, I also got a, um, what is this? A eye mask that I plan to do tonight. Got some, got some lashes and some I restock on my lip gloss because my mom stole mine so had to replace it and some um contour powder that I needed because I'm running I've been using eyeshadow this whole time for like over a year and it's finally almost gone so I was like okay let me do it the right way and get a contour powder and I got some gum from Target as well. Um, is there anything else missing? No, I think that's all I grabbed. But maybe I should um, eat or take my vitamins first before I put this gun on. What I should do is put on another tank top because look at the difference. I don't know if y'all can see it on camera, but this is getting white. This is giving, I used to be white. <laughs> oh, I also got yesterday, they're in the washer and dryer. I got the most beautiful Skims lounge set, like some pajamas. My tongue is white. <laughs> I had the Skims um, lounge set uh, from Nordstrom. So we're gonna get into that later um, after our plans. My plans for today is like once the day is over, I want to have me a good old like wellness night, a self-care night. I'm joining. Oh, okay, yeah. So yeah. Um oh let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all. Let me tell y'all about the facial that I did last night. Listen, so the facial that I got last night, um, I went to the place that I normally go to facial boundary or face boundary. Potato was hot. Went there. Mind you, backstory is I get really, really humongously bloated when it's time for unfloated visit she'll be here either today or tomorrow right and i feel like of course that blow goes to my stomach but it also goes to my face especially when i'm eating crazy my face is like it gives mrs puff okay so i was like you know what i'm tired of just like feeling ugly and just not feeling confident when auntie flo is on her way it's like auntie flo you do not dictate what goes on around here okay so i went to go <laughs> i went to go get um a lymphatic drainage facial if there's a facial boundary or face boundary near you in your city in your state Oh, well, I can vouch for the ones where I live, they are fire. Like, all the locations are fire. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, they got me together. And y'all seen that I went, I just went to Face Foundry a little, like a couple days ago, like three days ago. And while I was there, I just got the glow facial. And I'm like, dang, I should have got the, um, the sculpts, because I was feeling bloated then too. If y'all can see in my birthday vlog, like, it was like, it was blow. But, anyways, they got me together. I got the sculpt. So she did a traditional facial, but she 
did the cupping and a lymphatic drainage massage i learned a technique so there's this thing called windmilling <laughs> when you're doing a lymphatic drainage massage if you do not know about lymphatic drainage massages i will add the details here check them out love them love their life um but one thing that she did was like she started off on my cheek really slow and then she like went really really fast i can't go as fast as she did but she went like on my cheek and then like took it and drained it down that i should have got a gua sha add one because i feel like that would have been see. but um that would have been tea would have been tea but no like i just feel be honest y'all y'all ain't gonna be able to tell don't don't be honest don't say that it <laughs> it is a lot more like firm like my neck um the stuff right here like it's a little more like it's just, i just feel lighter so that was a win for me yesterday um and then yeah as far as wellness goes tonight i'm just gonna do some self care and do some like i shaved in the shower last night i should have got some shower content but i don't know i'm starting to feel like that's a little too personal like y'all need to be in the shower room anyways um yeah last night i did some body care stuff and then tonight i'm gonna since i already got a facial yesterday tonight i was like i can do the skincare stuff try out my new beauty products and then tomorrow morning have makeup done on a fresh face i think i'm a derma plan tonight in my cute little lounge wear i if you know me you know that my like motto if you will is to romanticize everything okay everything's a moment everything's a mood everything everything is like special and period like jesus came so that we may have life and have it more abundantly i believe that like i apply that in everything like abundance the beauty the good things all the good things all the good things all the good things um so yeah i'm about to get ready to leave out um thankfully my mom is helping me out today she's going to take me to the auto shop so i don't have to worry about um a like getting it told and yeah we gonna we gonna get into the day i feel like i've talked charles ear off enough i'll see you guys later All right, girl, we are back home, but we are on the move. So, okay, so, um, my, ooh, just to have, like, just to have some sort of recap, if you will, I've been outside all day. So, went to go handle went to go handle my car stuff and that really that really ended up working out mm. 
Y'all got me trying that little that hair. Uh, Y'all see what I'm trying. Um, but no, my car situation ended up working out so, so good. I thank God for just like the favor because I ended up not having to come out of nearly half as much money as I thought I was going to have to come out of. So that was such a blessing. Um, and then I went immediately after that, I was to go get a shot. It was the, um, I was going to get the liquid IV infusing shot, but I think I told y'all, like, I didn't know how much time I would have. So I just got the, um, Ooh, baby, this bathroom is gonna be a mess. Um, I just ended up getting just a shot, and she did it in my glutes instead of. Ooh, my lips are crusty. She did it in my glutes instead of my arm because I was being a little chicken. Um, but that ended up going well it didn't hurt for sure it definitely hurt it um it did hurt but it was just like it was probably like a four out of ten like it wasn't painless but it wasn't the worst thing that i've ever experienced in life so but the way that i feel the way that I feel was so worth, like it made it so worth it. Um, I just felt so just energized. I was, when I went to the grocery store, I was talking to myself in the aisles. I do that all the time, but I don't know. Like I felt like it was just a lot. It was, it was more going. It was more than usual. Okay, these are giving satin flexi rods, honestly. I thought they would do a little more, but the liquid IV went well. And then after that, I went to go get a pedicure. My feet are so soft. Are you kidding me? They're soft, they're pretty. I love the pedicure. It was really good. And it was only like 80 bucks. Usually it's a little more with the hair from wax. So all that stuff is out the way. After I got my pedicure, I went to go get a um I went to go and uh get some groceries. We're gonna have um really just some stuff for a green juice and stacking up on my vitamins and stuff but we'll talk about that later right now we have to get ready for um my dinner plans that i have this evening and i don't have i'm on like crunch time because i want to run some errands Oof. i'm on crunch time because i want to run a couple of errands before i go so I'm going to try to hurry up and get dressed and get out the house and I will see you guys when I'm done. I'm 
know that um flow is about to come bust my door down so let me tell you guys <laughs> i feel crazy even telling you guys about what just transpired but i just wanted to share because it was really weird and i just want to talk about it because i don't like i feel weird calling someone to talk about it so i'm like let me just tell them aka tell myself so I'm running errands before dinner, right? Because I had to take care of a couple of things. Hold on. Maybe y'all can live right there for a second. Hold on. Yeah, I can't move the steering wheel. Okay, y'all can live right there for a second. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so look y'all. I'm running errands before dinner. I'm on my way to dinner now. But I put up to the spot that I needed to, I needed to go make a return. So I put up there and there's a lady who's kind of like, she's getting out of the car, but she's standing in the middle of where I was trying to park. And so she stepped out of the way I did a little hand saying thanks. She gave me a little nod saying like, you're welcome. And so right now I'm in a Kia, right? So the lady is in a Honda and it's like fairly probably, oop. Probably, it's probably the same year, if not a year newer or older, but it's pretty much, they look, the cars look similar, right? And so, tell me if it was just me, like if, I, if I'm just tripping and I'm just like annoyed um, on some like hormonal type of stuff. But I hop out the car, like I park my car, I hop out, and the lady goes to the side where her husband is and they're like chit-chatting or whatever. So I'm walking and I'm practically at the door of the parking lot, right? So the parking lot, what, did y'all hear that? Oh, 
hear that? So the parking lot is like pretty, the parking lot is pretty roomy, if you will. So I'm practically at the door and they're still by where we all were parked at, right? So all of a sudden, I hear someone practically screaming like I kid y'all not you know how if you're talking to someone who's walking right next to you you will probably be talking in the tone that I'm using right now y'all this lady was practically yelling like her voice was very very projected throughout the parking lot and she's she's like I don't know why Kia would make a car just like a Honda like if they just wanted to make a car like a Honda that's what Honda is for a rundown of what happened today so nothing like really happened I'm just telling y'all what I did because I didn't record so last night I didn't end up getting home till like midnight but it was so good to catch up with Maya that's who I went to dinner with um, we had such a good conversation we just had a really good time and I love her so much it was so good to um, just catch up but after that, I went home. I was asleep, y'all. I didn't even take a shower. I did not take no shower. Like, I got in that house, put on some pajamas, took that makeup off, and got in that bed. I did not brush my teeth. I did not shower. Nothing. I just went to sleep. Um, that's how tired I was. <laughs> that's how sleepy I was. Like, I was sleepy. Um, and then this morning i kind of overslept because i feel like i went to sleep a little bit late um and when i woke up it was eight o'clock and i was like you know what church just gonna miss me today like i'm just not gonna be able to make it um but my church has four services literally so there's no excuse to just not make it you know what i'm saying so um I got up got myself together I washed my hair you guys I don't know if I was telling y'all yesterday but it was just like really greasy um so I did the dry shampoo yesterday but it's giving voluminous and 
nice and pretty and bouncy and all the things so I got up this morning I washed my hair and then went to get something to eat that cinnamon french toast fire um, and I got this matcha that I did not drink because I didn't like it they didn't do something right the last time I went to that restaurant um, I went to the little cafe and got a matcha. It was fire. It was a blueberry lavender matcha with agave and oat milk. And this one didn't taste like that. But I digress. Um, and then after breakfast or brunch for real, because I was it was like 12 o'clock. Um, I went to church to the 2 p.m. service and it was so good like that was a rhema word like it was a word I feel like God Taylor made it for me um he our, the pastor talked about the sermon was about um tapping out and essentially just like having total surrender total surrenderance to the Lord and I don't know like it was just really good it was really on time um and it just really resonated with me and so now i am running a very quick errand i just have to return something to a store and then we're gonna go home and get ready for the week um you guys are about to see me <laughs> it's gonna be narrator you guys are about to see me um make a green juice for the week i may or may not cook but i'm for sure gonna do that green juice um you guys are gonna see me go through my complete just like full wind down for the week or for the weekend getting ready for the week um and what else I think I'm going to pretty much just end the vlog with doing homework and editing this content. I want to edit this vlog and I want to edit, I have like four or five TikToks that I want to edit and I low-key am probably just going to post them all tonight, honestly. Um, one habit that I've been trying to do or practice is deleting my social media during the week until all of my tasks are done. And this week I didn't do it um, because I didn't really have a lot of tasks that I needed to focus on. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't have a lot of tasks that I needed to focus on. Um, but I feel like this week I do and I feel like it's going to be like a really, there's going to be a lot going on this week. Um, so tonight I'm just going to take the time to mentally prepare. Um, my earth shakers meeting that i had got uh rescheduled to tomorrow so i was like that's perfect that'll give me tonight to really just like unwind all the way so i'm probably not going to formally close this vlog out maybe i will but as of right now today um i don't feel like talking anymore <laughs> like i'm kind of just like ready to start recharging um for real for real so yeah other than the self-care stuff that we have going on later tonight i hope y'all enjoyed the vlog overall i'm gonna try to put my best foot forward this is a note to self while editing i'm gonna try to put my best foot forward when it comes to editing the vlog and just making it like captivating and interesting so i'm gonna try but yeah thanks for thanks for hanging with me this weekend i'm saying that like i'm just not gonna vlog anything else but yeah um, i'm gonna go ahead and finish these errands up and then i will see you guys when i get home